All right, so I'm back out at the cabin. Um, camera is up on the front porch. This weekend, I finally got to bring out the first thing that was donated to this project. It's right there, so I'll let you watch while I get it down and unwrap it. There it is. And yes, this was donated to the cabin. This is a Singer treadle sewing machine down here. Now it's in rough condition. Specifically the wood on this is in rough condition. It's missing a plate here. Um, it doesn't have any bobbins so I'll have to get bobbins and needles and a plate. I gotta get a belt for it. There's a belt that drives this down to the treadle. Um, this drawer is missing a knob. The bottom drawer here has had a replacement knob put in. That knob is broken. These three knobs on the other side are okay, but some of this uh, filigree, for lack of a better description, is broken off. The front drawer is a mess. I'm going to probably have to rebuild most of it. So, and of course the wood is rough. It's missing a couple of, it's missing a hook. There's a hook piece that's supposed to go here and hold this in place. Metal hook. Um, so I will have to find one of those. I need to tighten it up. I need to clean it up. And then set this down here. Close this. You can see that this top is peeling up. It's, it's toast. I'll have to relaminate that. Um, put a new finish on it sand it all down and make it look good. Now, to put this into perspective, this unit was made in 1905. That makes it 113 years old. So, it looks good for its age, but it'll look better once it's restored. And you may be asking why I would want to restore an old sewing machine like this. Well, let you sew without any electricity, which there's no electricity out here at the cabin. And there's a lot of things that I'd like to cover about sewing. Um, it's a skill that I think everyone should have. So that's it. All I have to do is find some parts and make it look good again. And get it running. Now the bottom of this, down here, all of this down here, and the treadle piece, that's all cast iron. This thing weighs probably 80, 90 pounds by itself. So it is not lightweight. I will get it into the cabin um, and look for a series on doing the restoration on this. It'll probably be done over time, not immediate. Take my time and do it right. And when I went looking at Singer sewing machines, this particular one, while it has Singer's name on it, is actually a sewing machine body from another company that Singer had bought back in the 1900s, late, or in the early 1900s. So 
they put their name on this other company's body. The problem here is that I have yet to have found the plate that goes here. Um, when I found sites that carry them from time to time, they're, you know, 80, 90 bucks for just that little plate. So I may end up fabricating a plate to go here. Needles are a little difficult to find, although I did find a company in Germany that still makes them. The belts are pretty easy to find. Cleanup on this is, is relatively simple, at least on the sewing machine part itself. And mechanically, it looks fine. Meaning, I've run it, I've rotated it a few times to make sure that the, the rotations work. It does come down and line up. It does line up with the opening here and the opening of the moving parts underneath. So it, from that perspective, it looks to be in good condition. Um, I don't see anything out of order with it. All the mechanical parts are there, except the belt. And everything appears to move like it's supposed to and adjust. So I should be able to get this going without too much effort. And then of course the restoration of the wood which will take the most time. But it looks good. I'm going to move it into the cabin and get it set up off to the side where it'll sit for a while until I can get to the restoration point. When you look at these drawers, look at those. Beautiful woodworking on the side. And these are the little filigree parts on the front. I'll probably have to duplicate that and create a new one for the other side. All in all, I think it will be a fun project and well worth having taken the time to do. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and if you're not a subscriber why don't you pick one of these videos over here take a look at them if you like what you see click that subscribe button down below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you would leave me a comment tell me what you thought